Hi, I'm Josh, and today I'm gonna tackle through the music of India and Indonesia. First in the line is Indian music. Now I'm not gonna go through all the historic events, I'm just gonna go through the main types of music of India for more summary. There are two main types of music of India, Hindustani and Carnatic. First is Hindustani, also called as North Indian Classical Music or Sastriya Sagat. It originated from 12th century CE when it diverged from Kartanic music. Given while Hindustani came from Kartanic, the two can be determined easily, because Hindustani focuses on more emphasis or improvisation, while Carnatic is more of a composition-based type of music. What's special about the Hindustani music is the melodic musical mode, is sung to a rhythmic cycle or tala. Raga, which means melodic framework for improvising, and tala, which literally means clap. In medieval times, the melodic system were fused with ideas from Persian music. After the 16th century, the singing styles diversifies into different garnas, patronized in different price seekers. Garna, which is a system of organization. Their melodic framework has seven basic notes, with five interspersed half notes, resulting into a 12-note scale. Unlike others, the bass frequency of the scale is not fixed and intentional gaps may also vary. The performance is set to a melodic pattern called the raga, characterized in parts by specific ascent and descent sequences. Raga may originate from any source including religious hymns, folk tunes, and music from outside the Indian subcontinent. Now let's move on to the Carnatic music. Carnatic music, or Karnaka Sagentais a system of music commonly associated with southern India. It is one of the two main subgenres of Indian and classical music that evolved from ancient Hindu traditions. The other subgenre being Hindustani music, which emerged as a distinct form because of Persian or Islamic influences from the northern India. The main emphasis in Carnatic music is on vocal music. Most compositions are written to be sung and even when played by an instrument, they are meant to be performed in gayaki or singing styles. Carnatic music is mainly sung through compositions, especially the kriti or kritanam, a form developed between the 14th and 20th centuries by composers such as Purandara Dasa and the Trinity of Carnatic music. Carnatic music is usually performed by a small ensemble of musicians consisting of our principal performer, usually a vocalist, a melodic accompaniment, usually a violin, a rhythmic accompaniment, usually a mindragal, and tambura, which acts as a drone throughout. The performance in contrast to Hindustani music of the northern part of India, Carnatic music is thought and learned through compositions. Carnatic has two elements, musical element, and what is conveyed in the composition. And lastly, the music of Indonesia. The music of Indonesia demonstrates its cultural diversity, the local musical creativity as well as subsequent foreign musical influences that shape contemporary musical scenes of Indonesia. The musical identity of Indonesia as we know it today began as the Bronze Age culture migrated to the Indonesian archipelago in the 2nd or 3rd century BC. Traditional music of Indonesia tribes often uses percussion instruments, especially ganda or drums and gongs. Some of them develop elaborated and distinctive musical instruments. The most popular and famous form of Indonesian music is probably gamelan an ensemble of tuned percussion instruments that include metallophones, drums, gongs, and spike fiddles along with bamboo flutes. In the central java, gamelan is intricated and meticulously laid out. The central melody is played in a metallophone in the center of the orchestra, while the front elaboration and ornamentation of the melody at the back, the gong slowly punctuates the music. There are two tuning systems, each gamelan is tuned to itself. And the intervals between notes on the scale vary between ensembles. The metallophones cover four octaves. 
Indonesian pop music today, known simply as pop Indonesia, is heavily influenced by trends and recordings from America, influence ranging from American pop, British pop, and also Asian J-pop and K-pop. Are obvious. The Indonesian pop phenomena is not completely derivative. It expresses sentiments and styles of contemporary Indonesian life. That's it. Bye bye.